Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Leslie and this is my Vehicle Commander. Hello everybody, my name is Lisa. And say hello to Brownie. Brownie is our car. And today we're going to bring you on a road trip to seek out some of the most ulu places in Singapore to eat. We're going to be taking you to this very lovely restaurant that's just minutes walk to the beach. And also a shack in the middle of nowhere but with really good food. And a farm to fork table concept. Bistro in the countryside. And finally, yeah, quite an interesting shack, right? In the middle of uh, nowhere. Kind of lah, kind of lah. <laughs> uh, it's, got, it's, it's so ulu. It's not even a car park, you know. Yeah, we, so, so we're we had... going to be showing you where to park so they can get there. Alright, so what you do is uh, you need to park here at block 114 car park. And then after that, you take a walk across to Yishun Avenue 7 and then Gambas Avenue all the way down to the Sembawang Hot Springs. Okay, so it's just a short walk and then you get to your little shack in the middle of nowhere. Okay, from the car park, you come to this uh, staircase that will lead you to the intersection. From there, you just walk straight down. Okay, just look for that brown building and just walk straight down. Okay, we're here at the Sembawang Hot Springs Park. So as I said, a little shack in the middle of nowhere. Right? <laughs> Quite ulu, right? Come, let's go. So here we are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by lush greenery. And uh, you know, it's aircon, it's very comfortable. Yeah. I love this place because it's run by this family. Mm. So so everything they make in-house, you know, the laksa rempah yeah. they make in-house, mm. all the sambal they make in-house. They even bake their own cakes and make their own pastry. Mm. This is really a hidden gem. It is, yeah. I mean, basically, these, this family, they used to run uh, the Zita at Bottle Tree Park. Yes. So it is like a rediscovery of an eatery that's been around for many, many years. Yes. we got to tell you about this laksa. Yes. They make their own rempah, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And they only have this on the weekends. Lah. Mm, very good. It's actually very good. It's very good laksa. It's actually the kind of laksa I would even travel just to eat. It's very uh, laksari. Umami, <laughs> you know, it's like it's rich. Lemak. And they also have hum in the laksa. I'm sure you can request not to have the hum. Yeah. We don't want to. Yeah, la. you can have humless laksa. <laughs> okay, and this place mm. has got a whole day breakfast. Yep. Okay, and I'm very excited about it. this one. <laughs> The luncheon meat and egg sandwich with the nice, soft, steamed yes, that's local right. bread. Oh man! Wow! Ooh, look, look at that. that! And the eggs are so nicely fried. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. It's such a nice place. Oh! Wow! This is the thing that got us back here. It is their Chao Ta Bihun. Yes. <laughs> now, this place is halal. So, mm. no pork, no lard. But they managed to get it very, very nice. Smell that. Mmm. That, that, that <sighs> smells good. Yeah. You like Chowda Bihun? And who doesn't? <laughs> For me, I like it a bit more Chowda. You want even more Chowda? Yeah, I want okay, it even then you have more Chowda. Re request. La. You need to get it to the brink of burning just before. <laughs> Finally, for the things that I like. Actually, for this place, right? If yeah. you think about it, a cafe in the middle of nowhere, uh, you actually come here for a whole day, cake and kopi and tea. Well, the thing is that you can also do a little walk up. Like, it's not a very long walk, but it's a walk up to the hot springs. I mean, it's close at the moment, but it's still a very nice garden walk. Mm. And then there's a little part where they show you the history of this place. So you've got to come here and find out. That's right, I mean, yeah. did you know that we are hot spring? Uh, I always knew about it, but I always thought it was just some pipe with some water coming out. But yeah, yeah. actually, quite a bit of a setup, lah. Yeah. So hopefully, but you can't something... you can't go in, like You can't get naked yes. and go in. It's not like don't, you don't normally go in. It's just to like I know no, but in Japan, hot spring is when you get yeah. naked and you go in. But Singapore is so hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Singapore, the culture of what is this thing about? <laughs> Let's talk about banana cake. Mm. The banana cake looks nice, it's fluffy, it smells great. Alright, look at that. This is very nice. Mm. Nice fragrance. Oh, yes. Mm. 
It is good. Very moist. Very, very moist. Obviously, you didn't use butter, but vegetable oil. Okay. So that's the texture. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice, very homey. Mm. Huh? Come here and have a nice slice of banana cake. Cup of tea. Actually, mm -hmm. make your day, yeah? yeah. And then she makes her own chocolate eclairs as well. And she also makes her own tarts mm. as well. So, quite a talented uh, family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, again, excellent discovery. I really love this place. Come and support them because uh, when the hot spring is still closed, yeah, business a little nice. bit quieter, but it's such a shame, you know? Yeah. Because this place is a gem. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, so where to?